Hi you guys, this is Cooking with Amy. I gotta adjust my light here a little bit. Forgot I had it going down. So, um, welcome Cooking with Amy. Um, tonight we are going to make a crostini, um, and it's a roast beef kind of one. And we're gonna show like different kinds of things that you can make for like, it, it could be really for anything, but I figured since it's almost New Year's, let's do something fun and be creative. So, um, Sorry, I just realized I had to grab my my little things to make our crostinis, my little baguettes. So um, I thought it would be fun to make some cute little dishes, something that's simple, that's easy, that you can make um, for like New Year's. You can either do it for your family or you can do it for um, just, you know, if you have a few friends that are coming over. I know some people are kind of doing that. I know there a lot of places are kind of shutting down again or being, you know, Saying that you can't have any more, you know, gatherings. But anyways, it's going to be really simple. It's going to be easy. I have my notes. Now, you know me, I don't usually follow the rules. Um, I did write down this recipe because, um, or to make this, but when I did make it the other night, I had um, a roll and I, th I just wanted to try it out and I kind of made some changes, kind of made it up my own way. So you are going to need um, some little baguettes. You open these. All right, so you are gonna need some cute little baguettes like these. Now you can get just the regular ones. I like this kind, this is kind of my favorite. It is like the one that you get at the Cheesecake Factory. Matter of fact, I believe it says Cheesecake Factory on it. But we are going to make these. And let's see. And also we're going to be making a few, another thing as well. Um, we're gonna get these going um, and we're gonna get the onions going because that's gonna take some time in the oven. Did I put it away? I did. Hold on. Okay, we're just gonna use this one because we're not gonna make as many as, um, I don't think we're gonna make the whole thing because it's just me and my roommate tonight. So, um, I do want to kind of get my on onions going because we're going to do some cr um, caramelizing some onions. So, I was kind of chopping a little bit some stuff up before and I thought, oh, well, let's la leave some for you guys. So, all I did is I chopped up um, half of an onion. You can use a whole full onion, but I wanted to do um, half of one. I do have my oven um, preheating. It's at 400 because we're going to do the bread in just a minute, but I wanted to get these going. So in a pan, what we want to do, whoops, ouch, sorry, that almost scared me. All right, so in a pan, what we want to do is we want to start warming it up and we're going to put some um, avocado oil in it because we're going to do our onions. This is going to be on top of our, our little crostinis. All right, let's kind of get this going and get it warmed up before we put our onions in it. So the other thing we're gonna do, and I kind of kind of got them going so far, is we're gonna melt those, and that's gonna be um, like our chicken tortilla or uh, chicken taquito. So we're gonna be doing those. Again, like I said, we're just kind of getting our pan going and getting it warmed up so we can put our onions in it. And um, we're making two different dishes. Um, and I will kind of give like other ideas that you can do with them with the other dish that we're gonna make. Matter of fact, let me take this out of the fridge. I kind of got on, got on a little bit late tonight because I was talking to my dad. But, um, we're gonna make two different kind of, you know, little side dishes that you can make that would be simple. And, and like I said, it would be great for any kind of party that you go to, but I'm thinking kind of New Year's cause it's getting close to it and it would be fun to do. So um, we're gonna make like a, a chicken uh, taquito, but it's going to be with um, cheese instead of using a tortilla. And that's what those are kind of for. Um, all right, so I think our pan might be a little bit hot enough maybe. Let's check and see. Eh, it's getting there. We don't we don't have to do like it has to be hot hot. We can put them in there and just let them get going together. 
then that way we can start moving on to other stuff. So like I said, all I did is I took an onion, I just cut it so you kind of have these little pieces like this. That's what I'm looking for. Um, Cause like I said, it's gonna be on top of our crostinis. So I'm gonna take those and I'm just gonna put them in my pan. Yeah, it's hot enough. You can kind of hear it starting to sizzle a little bit. Break them up a little bit. And we kind of want to start those going. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of spread them out a little bit in the pan. When you do, you can do a whole onion. Um, like I said, we're not doing as much tonight, so I always do a little bit less. Um, so what you want to do is take those and um, put them in a pan. Let them kind of cook. Don't touch them. Just kind of let them start caramelizing and doing whatever you want. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take our... Um, our baguette and we're gonna cut that up as well so with this one here and I'm just gonna put these kind of on the side um, in our pan like I said I am just using just my little pan here I'm not using anything fantastic because um, I'm not gonna do as many let me just go ahead and make it so you guys can see all right all right, so all you're gonna do is, you can either cut them to the side or you can cut them this way. I'm just gonna cut them this way. And I'm just cutting the end off because it's a little bit hard to have a non-flat side. So you wanna do them, you can do them a little bit thick like that, or you can do them a little bit smaller. It's up to you and what, you, what you're looking for. Um, I like mine a little bit thinner, so I might do the rest of mine a little bit thinner. So like I said, you can also, if you want to, let me just show you, we'll put that aside. But if you wanted to, you can make them a little bit bigger like that. We'll make a couple like that as well. We'll just show the differences on what you can do. I think I kind of like them a little bit longer because they are a little bit bigger. Because see how, if we just do it the one way, like little itty bitties. So we'll just get this cut up. And then I'll show you what's next. Again, this is something that's really simple. It's gonna be really easy to do. There we go. That's about all we can fit in this pan for right now. All right, we'll just set that to the side. So what you're gonna do with this, with your bread, is you're gonna take your avocado oil or your avocado oil, and you need your cute little brush. So all you're gonna do, Take, let me see if I can grab my little dish. Is put just a little bit in a dish, and then you're gonna take this and just brush it on your little crustinis. Let's get this all covered on here. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Let me put you up here a little bit. So like I said, all I'm doing is taking it, coating the tops of these, and then I'll show you how simple the other thing that we're gonna do. Now, if you really wanna be fancy and you wanna kinda give it a little bit of a little extra something, um, you can actually take some of your um, avocado oil. You can put, you can take a fresh garlic, um, put it in there, and then, you know, kinda give it a good little smack so it opens up a little bit and opens up some of those juices. And then um, it'll kinda, you know, flavor the avocado oil. So you can do that as well. That's, you know, if you want to be fancy. I'm just making it really simple tonight. Um, just because we're going to have some yummy flavors on here. Okay, so I am going to churn, before we get this going, I am going to churn my onions a little bit. Because I can smell some of them kind of starting like they want to burn. Oh, yeah, and this is what we want. See how pretty that, like, nice little caramelization is going on? This is what I want. Now, you can do it really slow and take, like, 30 minutes to do it. Um, I'm not doing that tonight because I kind of like mine like this. And sometimes I'm, I like them a little bit crispy. All right. So we've been playing with them a little bit too much. All right. Let's go ahead and let's get the... Um, oh. We got one more step to do. We are not done with these babies. All right, hold on. I need I need salt and pepper. All right, so all you're gonna do is just take your salt. I 
thank you. Just take your salt, take a little bit. I mean, just a little, you don't need a whole lot. You're just going to put just a little bit on there. I'm like, seriously, just one pinch for all of them that are on here. All right. And then all you're going to do is just take some black pepper and just crack some on there. Now you can actually do yours if you want to. You can, um, you can use regular pepper. Like if you have the ground up pepper, you can use that as well. Um, we're just kind of out and this weekend, this is finally my last weekend to be on quarantine. I can actually make it to the store if I need to, but we're just kind of using what we have in the house. Um, so now we're going to put this in the oven so we can start cooking it and so it can get all nice and crusty. I think that's the only time we can get, a, get away with saying something you want it to be crusty. Yeah, I think so. All right. Let me see on here. All right. I am not sure if you guys are on here because again, I'm not seeing any comments of you guys. And if you are, thank you for watching. Um, tonight, like I said, we are making <clears throat> a couple little dishes to make for if you want to do it over the weekend or not over the week. Well, you can, you can do it over the weekend for over New Year's or something like that if you have get together with your family. We are making crustinis. And so the other thing that I wanted to say too is that um, I am going to be tonight, I'm going to be using um, roast beef. So you can use roast beef slices, or if you have, like the other night when I first tried it out, um, I had a London broil that I had cooked, and I just ended up cutting that into little thin slices, and you can use that and put it on top. I mean, like, either way, either one of them will work. So I wanna mix these up a little bit more. Put you down, because they are getting pretty, pretty thin. I'm gonna say these are done. Like I said, if you do it on really slow, low heat, it would be perfectly fine. I'm doing mine a little bit fast tonight. And I think it's just because we have got stuff going on that we needed, that we're gonna do tonight, but put it off on the side and let it chill for a minute and we're gonna be good to go on those. All right, and that's about all the cooking that we're gonna have to do tonight. The rest of it is putting stuff together. So, let me see. I'm gonna chop this up real quick. Let me find out my knife. All right. So um, we're gonna chop this up tonight. It's, um, this is gonna go on top of our, our crostinis. So this is just a little green onion. Actually, it's gonna go on top of two things. So um, I am cutting these at an angle. I'm just cutting them nice and thin because they don't have to be really thick. But I kind of like it when it gives it that little angle look it makes, you know, the presentation look pretty. So we're just gonna cut these up real quick. And it's basically what we're doing tonight is assembling. So I am gonna show you something that I did make earlier because we're gonna do the crustinis first because we, we can kind of put that together as the other one bakes. And I'm gonna show you real quick after I'm done chopping this up because seriously, it's, it's all we really have to do. Actually, yes, it's all we have to do. Oops, that. Nope. All right. So we're going to set those aside and we're going to use those in a minute. Now I am going to show you something that I already kind of made earlier this week because I was playing around and I had some chicken that I put in my crock pot because I really wanted to make some, um, some chicken broth and I, and kind of some chicken soup. So I had some chicken breasts and, um, I ended up cooking them and then I just kind of made shredded chicken with it. Hey, get down, go, go put on your bed. Um, so this is what I made. So this is, um, it may not look like the pretty, prettiest thing, but it is absolutely delicious. So when I make my chicken broth, I put some um, carrots in there with it and then I put some flavoring and that's what I kind of did with this. So I had some, had some shredded chicken like I said, we're gonna make some um, um, taquitos. They're gonna be chicken taquitos, but they're not gonna be in your regular um, in your regular tortillas. Now, if you want to do it in your regular tortillas, you are more than welcome. But I've been trying to be friendly, um, you know, kind of meeting everyone's needs of being keto and and everything else. So, what I made earlier, and we're gonna show in a second on, on how I made them, is. 
me these cute little beauties. These are little cheese tortillas. And I found out the best way to do it, and this is why I was trying to, you know, sample with it the other night, is I wanted to see what the best way would do. So it says um, in the recipe to use um, mozzarella slices. All I did, and I'm gonna show you real quick. Let me, let me grab you guys. All I did is I grabbed some uh, mozzarella shredded cheese, and you can probably do that. And see, this is all I did. I'd made little squares out of them, and I'm gonna show you real quick how to do that is you take your baking sheet and you line it with we're gonna bring it over there because well let me see if i can get you over here see if i can get you in a spot so you can see what i'm doing without seeing the knives here you can kind of see what i'm doing okay all right so um like i like i said the other night I was experimenting with different kind of cheeses. Like I got a um, plant-based Gouda cheese, which I think if I did that one, I would have to do it a little bit longer. Um, I was trying to do like a Colby Jack kind of mix of cheese. That just totally completely melted and didn't, wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. So anyways, with your shredded cheese, you take it, you can put it on a sheet and then you're just gonna take it and then just form it. Form it into what you want. You can make them as big as you want. You can make them as little as you want. It's however you want it to be. So this one here, I'm just gonna flatten it out a little bit. And then I just make like little squares in it, kind of push them in a bit. And then we're gonna bake them. I have my oven at 400, and that's what I'm gonna use to make these. That's all I'm gonna do with these. Stick them in there for a few minutes, check on them, um, check and see how they're doing, so on and so on. So, and then once you're done cooking them, you want to let them cool and then you can remove them from your parchment paper. Now these two here, I didn't remove from my parchment paper. I just took it and flopped it over and then I covered them and then folded it in half so they're not sticking together, but they are perfect. So we are gonna do this with our first little thing. And like I said, like I wanted to show you um, what you can do when you do your party. So if you're setting out and you wanna set up a party and you want something fun and you want it to be beautiful, you can take this. And I just took, like I have this like big, huge little butter dish, but, and see how pretty, you can present that out like that, remove it, and then you have this beautiful little dish for it to sit on. Now to make it a little more prettier, you can take like some of those onions that we did, or even if you have some chives, just take them, put it on top of this, and dress it up. Boom, it's pretty, it's gorgeous now. So now you have something gorgeous for your, for your audience or for your guests that come over and have dinner. So what we can do with these, and I'm gonna put these all kind of like on a platter. So sorry if I kind of keep rearranging things, but that's what I'm doing because of our counter space. Okay. So with and you can get like those cute little spoons and stuff like that to serve things up and make it cute. Um, so what I'm gonna do is on a plate, I'm just gonna take these. I'm gonna do like the more a little bit cute crusted side. I'm gonna make that as my bottom half. So then you can take this. And the nice thing about this, this, and I'm gonna tell you how, how I made all of this and what's in it and what I put in it. Um, I kind of started doing it and I kind of went off a little bit. So all you can do is you can leave it like that. You can leave it in, in that little dish and for people, they can make their own. Or what I did earlier today, which I'll show you in a minute too, because I'm so super excited on, on how you know we're doing this and just sharing this and the ideas that I'm gonna get sidetracked. All right, so all you're gonna do is just take it, put some in there and roll this baby up. That's all you have to do. And then stick it on your platter. Okay, there's one. And you can do this too, like if you just made these and you just took them out of the oven and let them cool, you wanna make sure that you're able to pick it up like this. You can do that as well. And then also too, if you wanted to, um, like with these, if I wanted to, we can probably take them and put them in the oven or you can even you know, heat up the chicken before. I'm kinda doing mine cold just because I kinda like my food, my food a little bit cold. Let's put a little bit more of this stuff in here. So, but I am gonna show you some great ideas with this that you can do, it'll be fun. So, 
Again, you just take it, stuff it, and just roll it up. And boom, you've got that. Now, another nice thing to do is, and I don't have them out. We're making a trip to my pantry. So the other day I was trying to think of things that you can do. Like I said, if you have a decorative and you're sitting on a cute little plate like that, which is perfectly fine, take it. Um, you can have people grab it. And this is what I'm gonna show you. These are other two things that you can do with this. And if you make a bunch of it, if you just get it like a good thing of, um, hi Sandy, I see that you're watching. Um, so if, if you take it, you can um, make all different kinds of stuff with it. Hold on, let me get this out of the way. Okay, so the other thing you can do is you can leave this, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna try and do it this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me move this back a little bit. All right, so you can take a plate, and I had already washed a few of these earlier. Take a plate, Take some leaves, put it on a plate, and then guess what? Now you have something that you can do. Oops, there's a smaller broken ones. So now you have a plate that has this on it. They can come up, grab some of this yummy deliciousness, and look, you're just gonna spread it. And there you go, you have like a cute, yummy little lettuce wrap. Or you can make them you know, ahead of time if you want to. I mean, it's really up to you. People can make them themselves. And then that's something else you can put on your platter. We're gonna make one more. I'm gonna show you how pretty this platter is going to look after we're done. Of all these great ideas that you can do. And then we'll check on our, our bread. And I'm putting a lot on this one. This one's a big one. So we're going to put some goodies on this one. All right. Let's put this on our platter as well. Okay. All right. Then, if you want, you can take the same dip. And you can put them on all different kind of bowls if you want to. You can put your little, um, uh, I want to say chips. I call these my chips because I don't usually do chips, but you can take your crackers and same thing. Take it, put it on top of your crackers. Look at that. You've got a little cracker mesh. Again, there's, we've made three different things with just this here. Look at that. And again, they can put it on a plate themselves. They can do their own crackers. They can take, take as much as they want. This is a perfect, fun little thing for for anyone to take and you know have a snack on when you're doing a party. So there's one thing right there. That so this is basically. Let me tell you what this is. So and a lot of people are probably guessing. You know what is this? So like I said, it's shredded chicken, and I took a um, a softened cream cheese, and then um, like I said, when I make my broth, I put carrots in it. I had some carrots that. I think are absolutely delicious and what a great way to get someone to eat some carrots unless they're allergic to it then maybe not but hi Carl thank you so much for watching um so I just took some of the carrots kind of mashed it up and put it in here with it I took a um red onion and I'm trying to think of what I put on here now so I took a red onion and I believe I took a um I think what else did I put I might have to test it. See, oh no, I think I, I messed with it with spices. So, um, um, I put that in there. Do I have that recipe? I don't have the recipe in here. Um, so I put some stuff cause I wanted some crunch in there. So then what I did is I put some salt and pepper and I put a little bit of onion powder and I put some garlic powder, but I think that really made this come together is celery salt. Now, before you start putting your salt in, I suggest putting in your celery salt first. Um, because I kind of did a little bit over salt this, but because I know it was just a little bit overpowering, what I did is I ended up adding a little bit more cream cheese to it to help kind of take a, um, a rid of that little bit, that saltiness. And it worked out fine and it tastes really good. Um, let's see, I know I got red onions. I mean, you can kind of do whatever you want in here because this is your your creation of what you want to do. Just make sure it tastes good. But those are my things. I will put a recipe 
Um, I, I will put that recipe, I'll write it down and I'll put it on there with the blog with, you know, I'll take some pictures, stuff like that, like how I normally do. All right, so let's go check on our bread and see how it's doing. Let's see if it's getting nice and toasty. All right, let's see. Ooh, feel that heat, that heat, that heat feels good. So yes, they are nice and toasty. See how pretty and toasty they are? That's what we want. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stick these guys in the oven so I can show you what they look like. And again, my oven is only set at 300. And um, yeah, so it's set at 300, so we don't have to worry about any of that. All right, I'm gonna put you over here so I can get a hot pad and kind of move some of this stuff out of our way so we can assemble this beauty. So you guys, look how simple this is. This is like a couple meals in one. I'm gonna put these on the board. I'm gonna move this. And you guys, this is gonna be really simple and easy to do, and it's going to be fun. And your guests are gonna think you worked way too hard to make them happy. All right, let's move these aside because that's gonna be part of our topping. And these are gonna be perfect, you guys. All right, so we've already got on top of it, we've already got our, our base part of it. So let me see. I wanna make sure I'm doing everything right. Okay, cheese, that's the thing I forgot. Let me grab our cheese. I knew I was forgetting something tonight. I am, I am a bad girl because I did go to London. Yeah. But I, but I think I am also a good girl too that, you know, maybe I'll, I'll go to heaven as well. All right. So I found, okay, I'm going to have to show you guys this because it's, I think it's pretty tasty. So ordering online, I didn't realize that I ordered a plant-based cheese. It is, um, sorry, my sister's asking me a question. No, it's the, it's that, um, no, it's the, it's the, uh, Cheesecake Factory bread. I don't know if you've had, have you had their Cheesecake Factory bread? But that's what this is. It's just dark because I had it in the oven. So anyways, um, I was ordering offline because like I said, you know, we've, we've been in quarantine. So I got this stuff here. It's a plant-based Gouda. All I saw on there, it was Gouda and it was, you know, pre-cut. And then when I got it, I'm like, oh great, how is this gonna taste? I actually enjoy it. I kind of like it. So what you can do, there's two things that you can do here. Now, I don't wanna put it back in the oven because I don't think it really needs to be, you know, melted. But you can take this and put them on your bread. Those would be for later for snacking. You're gonna take, and you don't have to use Gouda cheese. You can use whatever you want. So I'm just doing Gouda because that's kind of the one I had in there. All right, so you can take them, put them on here, and then you have that. Then you can also take your um, roast beef. And like I said, or if you have steak that you had from the other night, you can take that and cut it up really thin. You just want them thin. So you can take these if you want, Put them, back, put them on top of here. I don't know what this is, hold on. They have just a little crumbled one. It was all crumpled up in a little ball. Okay, so you're gonna take your roast beef. I say put maybe one or two slices on there. It doesn't have to be really thick and really heavy because if not, it'll just end up falling off. So put some pieces on there. And if you want it warm, you can um, put it back in the oven and warm it up a bit. And if you want that cheese nice and melty, you can do that as well. Sorry, I'm having issues with this, with this coming off. It's just breaking apart on me. They don't want to separate. All right, 
So you're just gonna put your roast beef on there. I am just doing one slice just because it's falling apart on me. This must be really good roast beef. All right. Put those babies on there. Maybe should have pulled these apart earlier. Yes, I will send you a photo of the ingredients on there. I will I will make sure to save the bag and send it to you. All right, so I'm just gonna break this one apart and kind of share it between this one. All right, so those are our crestinis. Okay. So the next thing that you do, this is, like I said, these are just ideas. You can kind of go crazy with these and have whatever you want on them. All right. I am not going to, now I should have done more of these, but that's okay. We're gonna leave some of the onions off. All right, so we're gonna take some of these yummy onions and we're going to just sprinkle some on top of these. If you guys haven't noticed, I like using my hands while I'm cooking. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. I just, I just love it. I just love that feeling of, you know, me getting there and, and touching in with all of these babies. It's like, you know, putting your, your signature touch and giving it all that love. All right, let's see, he needs a little bit more. This one does. All right, there you go. All right, so again, we're just like, you know, make up however you want to go with these and how you want them to be made. All right, what is the other thing that we wanna put on here? All right, so I do have some um, feta. I am gonna break a little bit up. Now, I just have a chunk of, of feta. I got this um, for something else to do, so I just got, I like the chunk of it because I can break up the little pieces I want. You can put feta on here, you don't have to. I am just taking a couple of them and I'm putting just a little bit of feta on them. I'm not gonna do all of them with feta. Okay. And let's see what else. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these little chives, these little green onions, sprinkle those on top. And you guys, with these being sprinkled on top, it gives it such a yummy flavor. I mean, it's, it's gonna be delicious. Now it says to put horseradish on here you don't have to put horseradish if you don't want horseradish. Um, but I am, and I tried this the other night and I really, really, I really like the taste of it. I had found um, a beet horseradish. Now, I have never heard of a beet horseradish, so I had to try it. And I was trying to think, I'm like, what am I gonna make this and what am I gonna put on it? And I remember the other night when I was, or the other day when I was trying these out, that I'm like, hey, I have that beet horseradish. I'm like, let's try it on this. You guys, it was delicious. It was really good. If you don't like beets, and maybe you don't like this, but I, I really liked it. It had a really good flavor, and it tasted really good with this as well. So before I put that on it, I'm gonna move my little mess here. And before we do that, we want to check our cheese, because I hear it cooking in there. All right. Oops, yep, they are done. Look at that, they're a little a little too done, but that's okay, I like, I like my dark cheese. All right, we're gonna take those babies, put them up there. I think it's because I think you were supposed to have your oven at 350, so I apologize, my fault. But again, I will put, I will put all of the recipes and what you're supposed to do, you know, when I post the pictures. All right, let me grab our platter here. Post these babies on here. And then I will show you a picture of our platter in just a second. Oh my goodness. He's being such a grouchy. All right. Put those over there. All right. 
capable. There we go. We'll just keep those off because there's not enough room for all of them. All right. So then all you're going to do to make this, this platter just perfect is, do I have? No, I don't. Like I said, if you have a regular horseradish, you can put this on there. It's totally up to you and what you want to do. Let me show you our cute little platter, what we've got going on so far. Look at that, you guys. We have the crackers with the chicken. Um, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's like the chicken yumminess. And then you can put it on lettuce. You have it wrapped in the cheese. And then, of course, we have our roast beef um, uh Christinis. So, with those roast beef, let me make sure you can see, all you're gonna do, and you need just a smidge of it, is just take some of that horseradish, put it on there, and just kind of spread it just a little bit. We're gonna just do two of them, because I'm not sure if my roommate likes horseradish or not. This is our dinner tonight. So, we'll put there, and I know I'll eat those too, because those are delicious. All right, you guys, that is it. This is our dinner. And again, if you're making a party or you're doing a party, this is fun stuff that you can put out for them and they would absolutely enjoy it. Sorry, my dog wants out. Um, you know, it is, tell Seth, it is great and yummy. Yeah, you know, I... I wasn't sure about the horseradish, but I think it's more its more of a vinaigrette um, kind of tasting. Let me taste it again, because I wasn't sure. So there's really not, not like a whole lot of spice. You can taste the beets, and it's more like a, a, a vinaigrette-y kind of taste. Um, there's no heat to it at all. But it is pretty good. I do like it. I do like it with this. It was it was pretty good um, when I tried it the other day. So um, so that is it, you guys. Those are some things that you can make for a little get together with some friends for New Year's or for any time for a party that you're doing. If you're doing a baby shower or anything, um, if you guys want, I can also do like um, a cheese board. Well, so this this is my my take on cheese boards. So you can take this and put it on a platter like this. Or you can take it and, um, what I make? Like for Thanksgiving, instead of using, I use my cheese board as my, I put my meats on it and then I put my um, potatoes on it. Was it potatoes? Yeah. I put my potatoes and then um, I made my little fennel. Um, you can do that with it. You can do the same thing with this. You can have bowls that have, like I, like I had showed you, you know, you can take a cute little platter you can take a cute little platter like this and put it in there. Or you can use, if you don't have something like this, you can use a round bowl like this, put it in there, pile it up. And then people can just kind of put a little fork next to it and just put it, you know, put it on there. You can take um, even like the little wraps that we have. You can kind of, you know, do whatever you want with it. Have fun with it. Be creative. Um, again, you can take some of these and even on, on here, with these little wraps, you can add a little bit more of those if you want. You can add some beets to that if you want. You can add um, some cheese. You can add some of the uh, some of the feta to it as well. I'm mean, like, it is endless on what you can do, you guys. I mean, you can make anything look beautiful and fun and be creative and delicious with it as well. I thought I'd put some on, on that one, some feta cheese. But again, you know, I can create a cheese board or a fun board. I'm going to call it, you know what? We're going to start it. We're going to call it the fun board. Um, because I can't say the other word that they're called for the cheese boards. So they're going to be called fun boards. Um, but yeah, that is it, you guys. That's all I have for tonight. And again, this would be fun for parties, for either New Year's or whenever you want. And look how simple and easy that was. Oh, let me show you the cheese real quick because I think you guys want to see that. They should have been cooled off by now. So, let me put you back here. All right. So, these are our little cheese things that we made. And look, after just a few minutes of it just being in there, look how easy they come out. They're perfect, you know. I mean, you can roll them up. They're going to be perfect. Look at that. Stuff them, pull it if you want. Now, I did do these a little bit too long, but that's okay. Um, they are a little bit hard to roll. 
but not really. I mean, you can, they're going to work with you. They're not, I mean, they're not breaking. There's no, there's no holes in them. So that'll work for whatever you want. Yep. So that's it tonight, you guys. That's our dinner. And, um, I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you for watching. Tonight was a short one, but that's okay. I really enjoyed it. And again, if there's something that you guys want me to make, you guys want me to do, you guys want me to go over, if you guys want to see me create a cheese board, I can create a cheese board or a corn board. Um, I mean, I can I can do it. You can do like a um, like how we did tonight with the food. You can have fun with it and, and, and create it and do different things with it. Um, but yeah. It's, it's about having fun with your food and creating it and, and just, I don't know, just spread your love all over food. So yeah, let's do that, you guys. So again, if there's something you guys want me to make, something you guys want, or if you have a food allergy, allergy and say you want like some ideas or some, you know, what are, can I come up with something that'll be within your food range and you want, you know, want me to experiment with it? I don't have a problem with ex um, experimenting. Um, we can definitely do that. We can experiment. I actually I love experimenting. Um, I had a friend of mine that she was pretty much allergic to everything. So coming up with foods for her to eat was like one of the things I loved doing. So, um, and I had a few friends that were gluten free and finding ways to, you know, incorporate yummy, delicious foods that were gluten free. Um, I'm, I'm a type two diabetic. So for me, finding ways to create something that was delicious and good and low carb, low glycemic. I mean, I really had to find out different ways on how to do it. Like normally I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do the bread or anything like that on these, but I think having this amount would be okay. Um, but the other options that I have with doing the lettuce wraps and, or doing the cheese and stuff like that, um, really makes it, it makes a difference in, in, what you eat and how you do your lifestyle um, and you know make it healthy so again if there's something that you guys have a food allergy with or you want to try something new want to try something healthy i don't always do everything healthy except for the except for the sugars because if it's going to be in our house and we have to eat it then i use the sugar i use <coughs> excuse me so again yeah let's just keep this going guys i really enjoyed making tonight's dinner um or showing you guys a fun way to create like a New Year's Eve, you know, hanging out with family. I mean, that's what it is. It's like, you know, bringing the new year with family and good food. And there you go. So I will post the recipes for everything that I used. And like I said, anything that you guys want, you can change and make a difference on it. You don't have to do the cream cheese in um, the stuff that I made. You can just use shredded chicken if you want and add spices. I thought about doing it with the cheese and making like a, a, a Mexican style of putting yummy um, spices in there to make it a more of a Mexican um, dish. I mean, there's loads of stuff that you can do and do different things on it. Um, maybe we'll do that one night. We'll make it more Mexican. Like we'll do some black beans and we'll do like a Mexican type, type dinner. All right, you guys, I love you guys. I'm going to feed my roommate because I know she's probably hung hungry by now. And she's starving. So I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you for watching Cooking with Amy. Make sure you tell your friends. Show, share it on your post. Have your friends and your family. Come and like my page. Um, we're getting close to almost being at 400. Well, we're almost almost at 350. Um, I know that's not close to 400. But hopefully we'll get to close to 400. Um, tell your friends to like it. Watch it. And same thing. I, um, I have a YouTube page. And it's called... Same thing, cooking with Amy, but my last name, Amy Doulard. Go like that, start watching it, um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sandy. Thank you again for watching. You have a great night as well. All right, you guys, have a great night. Love you.